Hello everyone. It is so nice to see this crowd. Honestly, none of us were expecting this turnout. So we had a little bit of a delay. Sorry about that. But I'm so excited to see all of you here and for y'all to give Malhar your support. So one hand for all of you. Before we begin with the orientation, I would just like to introduce our quartet. Uh, we'll all take turns introducing ourselves and then we'll move ahead with the presentation. So, hi everyone, I'm Tarini. Uh, I'm the chairperson for Malhar 2022. And, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Akash. I'm the vice chair. I'm the vice chairperson for management for Malhar 2022. Hi guys, uh, I'm Shorya. Um, I'm the vice chairperson for networking for Malar 2022. Uh, we also have a fourth member of the quartet, Kimberly. She could not be with us in person, so she sent a video message for you guys. Kimberly, we see the events. Hey everyone, this is Kimberly, vice chairperson events for Malhar 2022. I was eagerly looking forward to being a part of this orientation in person. Regretfully, I couldn't. However, he was hoping that we have a lot of face-to-face -face interactions in the future. I hope you enjoy this orientation that our core committee has put together for you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, so, most of the crowd that's here has never seen an offline Malhar and uh, we're kind of hoping to give you a glimpse of that through this orientation and also through some of the stories that we're going to share. So, um, I remember being in your place when I was in junior college in 2018. And uh, you know when you're in junior college, the first thing you hear about Xavier's is of course Madhar. And there's this overwhelming sense of not understanding what the fest is, what the hierarchy is. And you have a lot of questions in your head, but uh, we're here to clear all of that today. And uh, if I think back to FYJC, I was a very shy kid and I was very nervous walking into college. And uh, all of these experiences in Malhar have made me who I am today and you have a chairperson in front of you. So <laughs> I think that says a lot about Malhar and the changes it brings within you as a person and in your life. Um, so, yeah, just people say that when you organize Malhar and when you're in the Malhar committee, you're often presented with like a hundred different scenarios and you're expected to, you know, what match up to it and deliver. And I think that's something very important that I've learned from Malhar. And I hope that all of you who apply for the workforce and who join will go through the same experiences that I have and learn as much as I have. So thank you all so, so much for being here and I'll give the stage over to Akash to explain our events and a little more about Mahatma. Thank you for that, Dharani. Alright, so Malhar is a different feeling altogether. There are several fests and events that take place in college, but the scale at which Malhar is organized amazes me. I still remember walking into the quad as a volunteer in SYJC on day one of Malhar and being in awe of how a group of students and staff have been able to build this festival from scratch. And that is what Malhar stands for essentially, the value of contributing to a cause bigger than just you and your team. For everyone who is new to Malhar, it might seem a bit intimidating, but trust me, once you take that initial step of applying, you'll have an experience like no other. The people you meet and the memories you make, you'll cherish them for a long time. So I think I'm done with the deep 4 a.m. talk. Let's move on and have a glimpse of the events and free events of Malhar. So in the lead up, of, lead up to Malhar, there are several pre-events, contests and initiatives that we organize. In the past, there have been several social cause initiatives like a tree plantation drive, the yard sale, the sign language workshop to name a few, all of which help us give back to the society. 
There have also been open mics and external events, which gives the performers in our college a platform to display their talent. A fun fact, RCP Tarni, she was also an open mic performer back in 2019. So to all the performers out there, if you play your cards right, you may just be the next Malhar Chai person. Okay, so moving on to the internal events, there's events like the Malhar Mela and the Bake Sale, which happened in 2019. They do help us create a buzz in college. Apart from that, there are fun contests and workshops organized over a span of 45 days before Malhar. All of these events that I've just mentioned take place before the two main days of Malhar. On the days, you'll see a range of competitions and workshops being conducted, which rope in the best student performers, artists, writers and athletes from Mumbai. Having experienced it in 2019, I can say this with confidence that on the days, Malhar is the place to be at in Mumbai. So to give you a feel of what Malhar and Sales events look like, we'll be presenting a short video. and basically how the team itself functions. So, uh, as you can see in the uh, slide here, the quartet is a group of four members who oversee the overall functioning of Malhar as a whole and they over oversee the three domains that is events, management and networking. You can see all the events listed here under each domain. Uh, if you could go to the next slide, we can see that the organizer in charge basically is responsible for the department as a whole. They are, you could say in a way, they are the department heads. They, alongside organizers, coordinators and volunteers of their team, work in cohesion to ensure that their department functions smoothly. The organizers, uh, you could say, are kind of like the sub-heads of the department. Uh, they are also the heads of the sub-department that each department has. Uh, the coordinators act as a link between the organizers and the volunteers and ensure that communication is maintained throughout the chain. So, uh, if I could go to the next slide and we could see, uh, so the workforce applications. So this year we are planning on having the workforce applications be common for both organizers and volunteers. There's, there are two rounds to the process. The first round is the application round. The second one is the group discussion round. You will get a preference of two departments. That's the maximum amount of departments you can apply to. However, you do have a choice of applying to two or not. When you open the form, you'll be able to see a preference one option and a preference two option. And based on the preference that you click, you'll be able to see four questions listed. The first three questions are compulsory for all, irrespective of whether you're applying for a volunteer or an organizer. However, the fourth question, that one is optional. And that is only for the ones who wish to apply for the post of organizers. Uh, once you have filled your application, you are guaranteed to get a group discussion for the first preference for which you have applied. Based on the amount of vacancies that we have for each department, we will then be opening the second round of group discussions for those and only those who still have vacancies left. Only those will be called for the second round if they have applied for the departments which have a vacancy. So this is basically how the application process is going to work and I want you to keep in mind that the application is common for both organizers and volunteers. So those who want to apply for volunteers, this is your application form as well. You don't need to wait for the, applica for the second application form to apply as a volunteer. So that would be all from my side. Thank you, Shorya. Uh, so another point about the applications, we're opening the applications today once the orientation ends and uh, the forms will be open till Sunday.
Saturday, 11.59 p.m. Okay. So now we are moving into introducing all of our OCs, that's our organizers in charge. And uh, we start with the events domain. So everybody just give a round of applause for our first OC, Alia Rashad, who come and talk about the admin. I'm too short for this. Hi everyone. Oh, this is better. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Alia, OC for admin this year. Uh, so let me just get right into it. Team admin is called the backbone of Malhar. And for very good reason, because we do most of the important work behind the scenes. So I'll tell you the work that we're concerned with. So. We score all the events very confidential. We do the registrations, we make certificates, we make passes. We are the main point of contact for the participants and contingents. So we invite colleges, we call them, we are with them throughout the fest in case they have any doubts. And lastly, we make the rules and regulations manual, which is the most important document of the fest. So this would be about the work that we do. Let me tell you a little about the vibe of admin. Admin is focused on teamwork, loyalty. We work as a family. And the members will have each other's backs no matter what. Because, you know, confidentiality. We need to stand our ground. And lastly, I will talk about myself as your future OC. I'm the friendliest, funniest, funnest person you're going to meet. I'm ready to bet on that. You can test it out yourself. And I'll make sure that we have lots of fun, we bond a lot, but do work at the same time. So when you leave admin, you will leave as a more mature person, someone who loves to take charge and someone who loves to lead. Hope to see you all apply for admin. Thank you. Now, um, let me call the organizer in charge for ETC, Saran. So, as an art student rolled over to Journo, I am used to droning on at great lengths. So, 120 seconds is already too short for me. And there I have lost 25 already. So, my name is Saral and I aim to keep this as Saral as possible. Some intellectual on a random Tuesday said that you need to be a little crazy. It is the price you pay for having an imagination. And that is exactly what we need for ETC. ETC stands for Entertainment, Theatricals and Contests. But what our audience really seeks is just entertainment, entertainment, and thank you for not making it awkward. I appreciate it. So it's, the department is generally divided into six to seven events like theater, sports, or field domination, science, debate, MUNRs, it's your time to shine, Malhar icon, or a talent hunt, basically, and uh, lastly, the very popular treasure hunt. Breathing life into all of these are our filler OGs, so if you are the life of a party, I am looking for you. Every single year we come up with new settings, new events, new everything. So if you think you have a crazy idea, which will change the time, will change along with a sensible layout, then apply for this department. Who knows, we might just get to see a completely new event hit the stage this year and it might just be yours. Hope to see you apply. Thank you so much. I would like to call on the organizer in charge for FA, Ishika. Hello. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, it's very, very good to see you here today. This is my first offline orientation in a while now. So it's really nice to see the hall fully packed. Let's just get straight to business. Um, my name is Ishika Bengarde. I am a TYBA sociology student and your OCFA for this year. For those of you who don't know what that stands for, FA is basically fine arts, which yeah, does include your drawing, your painting, sketching, sculpting, arts, craft, all that jazz. Whether you join us as an OG or a volunteer, you will be expected to dedicate yourself wholly to the team. But don't let that daunt you because um, in FA, we're going to be very fun, very chill people. So if you're going to join us as an OG, um, essentially you will serve as the link between me and the volunteers. You will also be given more specific tasks 
like looking into specific events and the art lounge, which is a very famous thing we do. Uh, if you join us as a volunteer, then there will be a bunch of different tasks that the OGs and I give you. But volunteers, you will be forming the very, very foundation of our department. So please join us. Um, besides that, whether you're selected as an OG or a volunteer, the FA department will allow you and it will give you the liberation to explore the depths of your creativity and your imagination. And you can give it back to us by helping it make us um, helping make FA an efficient department. So you know whether you are an artist, a lover of the arts, or simply someone with great ideas who would like to explore them, the FA department welcomes you to apply. So you know, as soon as the applications are out, please apply, and I hope to see some of you all there. Thank you. Uh, before I go, I would like to call our IPAOC Nabea. Bollywood, folk, street play, band performance, classical. Hi guys, I'm Nabea Khitavat from TYBMM and I'm the IPAOC for Malhar 2022. <laughs> Indian performing arts is everything about Indian dance and music. It will energetically bring the desi out of you as well as make your heart sing with band performances. If Hindi music makes you dance or classical mesmerizes you, IPA is your department. If you're someone who can't stop themselves from grooving to Jumma Jumma or singing the classical antras and Bollywood songs in the bathroom, you're the correct fit for IPA. Events will be th filled with themes, twists, multiple rounds, along with months of planning, bonding, meetings, disagreements, while thalis fall in the background. Excuse the drama, but with this ex experience, you will learn how to organize, delegate, communicate, deliver, multitask, as well as have fun while doing it. As an organizer, that is Goji, you will ha handle a whole event assigned to you, which needs to be executed along with a team of volunteers under you. As a volunteer, you will work under your OG and help him or her bring the event to life. It will be an enriching experience which will test your skills and give you the best memories which will complete your Xavier's experience. It's going to be a fun-filled journey and I promise to make these two months to be the most smooth and amazing Malhar experience for all of you who join me. Join IPA, let's go! I would like to call upon Jasmine, who is the OC for F uh, LA, to the stage. Oh, okay, this is the first time I've come here and it's nerve-wracking, um, but let's get started. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I am the organizer in charge for the Literary Arts Department for Malhar 2022. 2022. Um, literary Arts, or LA, as a department, holds a number of important responsibilities, first of which is obviously events. LA is known for its creative writing, extempor and quiz events, that urge you to shift the paradigm, think outside the box and basically let your imagination run wild while you engage in a free flow of ideas. LA is also in charge of Tal, which is the official Malhar publication and it is also an important historical document of Xavier's that is preserved in its archives. Now LA is also in charge of the official Malhar blog and this is a space where you can simply relax after a tedious day of work and you can have fun while reading the articles. Now, all of this might sound too technical and I hope it wasn't too overwhelming for you all, but I promise we are a lot of fun to be with. And LA is known for its wit and humor. And if you have the knack for anything punny, then LA is definitely the place for you. Thank you. I would now call upon um, the Wings OC. Hello, good afternoon and namaste everyone. I am Nitika Khemandi, OC Wings this year. Thanks guys, thanks. Okay, first of all, thank you so much for showing up in such massive numbers, really appreciate it. Now I want to clarify the question I get the most. What is Wink? Wink is Workshops Incorporated. When I say workshops, I don't mean conventional lecture type workshops. I mean out of the box ones, like tote bag designing, 
or dancing with someone as prolific as Terence Lewis or uh, baking, cheese tasting workshop, tea making workshop. Yes, Mama, Terence Lewis did come to our college in 2019 under our Malahar initiative from Bink department. Now as OGs and volunteers, you all get to ideate what workshops we can have and who will conduct them, have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them and even take part in these workshops from the front line. Now the second uh, responsibility that my department has is that of yard sale. It's the initiative through which Malhar gives back all the love that it gets from society. So basically we collect items from our college students from college contingents and we sort of organize them and sell them. The money that we get, we give it to charity of college stores. Guys, I know my department is so small and not very known. But we all know gems are usually hidden. My department's gonna be loud. It's gonna be playing Bollywood music all the time. So please apply. Thank you. Hi, calling up next is AJV Town, WPA OC. The one we've all been waiting for, guys. What's up, guys? I'm so glad to see so many of you all here with so much enthusiasm and so much energy. I'm Aditya Bura, TY BNM, and I'm here to speak about my department. I'm the OC for World Performing Arts. A.K.A. the soul of Madhav, or the life of the party. I'm not biased by the way. First things first, let's speak about the various events we'll be ideating over together, such as Western band event, street dance event, and maybe even a rap event. I can bet there won't be even a single moment where you'll feel bored working for the, for the WPA. For my OGs or subhead, I want people who have a passion for dance and music and can conceptualize and run events. I need people who are leaders and are calm under pressure. If that sounds like you, come on. And all my volunteer candidates out there, if you all want to have fun in this year's Madhar, along with fulfilling your love for Western dance and music, come aboard as well. I would like to end by saying, Xavier's gives you roots and wings to reach your destination. World performing arts in Madhar gives you with the ability to get there and rock everyone out of their minds. Thank you. Okay, thank you to all the events department OCs for telling us about the departments. We now proceed with the management domain departments. First up, we have assistance with Ria as their OC. Hello everyone, I'm Ria, I'm the OC for assistance. So I'll get straight to it. Assistance is primarily an internal crowd management and a venue management department that also looks at the safety and health aspects while managing a huge fest like Malhar. We ensure that there is no commotion caused anywhere due to unruly behavior of the crowd and the events go on without any inconveniences for everyone. So basically everything that the OCs did today, you know, cramped up so many people in such a small space, that's what we do. I literally came here with open hair, with makeup on, this is what I look like now. So it's a fulfilling, you know, feeling. So, yeah. Um, assistance volunteers are spread across all floors in college, outside classrooms, event areas, etc. Uh, we also get to witness some really cool events that happen in the hall and in the foyer while obviously handling the crowd there. Sometimes we also get to accompany and interact with some prominent faces who come for the fest. The sub departments are usually divided on the basis of where the ev events are held and um, one sub department also takes care of the judges. So if you want to pursue a career in event management or if this is your first Malhar or your first offline Malhar and you want to have a good amount of fun and work, assistance is the department for you. So yeah, uh, can't wait to see you super soon. Um, I'll now call upon finance OCJ. Hi guys, good evening everyone. My name is Jen Singh and I'm OC for Finance for Malar 2022. And before I talk about my department, let's just get the fact clear that money has been around for more than 5,000 years now. Whether it be a seashell or lately a computer mined coin. Money communicates value and at Malhar, we look at money in terms of value and sibling departments provide to us and how we use it to create an exhilarating experience for all of us. Our finance section prepares and manages finances to ensure a proper flow. The department comprises of three parts. First up is financial planning and analysis which looks at budgeting and forecasting. Next up is recording, entering, evaluating financial transactions which includes cash flows, 
cache memos and advances. And lastly, controlling, which uh, ensures accurate and compliant measures. The roles and responsibilities for this department will be determined by three factors. First up is vendor communications. Second is interdepartmental communications. And thirdly, communications with the college treasury. Estimating, forecasting and analysis are just a few exciting topics we'll examine. And trust me guys, it will look fantastic on your resume. Lastly, I'm looking for confident and analytical individuals uh, who, are, who have an acumen for numbers and a knack for communication. Thank you. Next up is Prashti from Asadana. Hello everyone, I'm Prajiti Navlake from SYBA and I'm the OC Hospitality Malha 22. So first off, are there any friends fans in the house? Great. So have you looked at Monica, host of friends, work in the hotel industry or just be an avid planner and thought, oh, that looks fun, I want to do that. If yes, then the hospitality department is here to make your dreams come true. The main responsibility of the hospitality department is to ensure that the workforce, judges and artists have an amicable experience at Malhar. But our main objective is to make Malhar memorable for everyone. When people think of Malhar hospitality department, they immediately think of only food, which is true, but not entirely. We are a department with a lot of diversity about the, in terms of the people that we acquire and the work that we do. We need people who are quirky, social, persistent, artsy, and who are able to put themselves out there. The rough subdivisions in the hospitality department is food and beverage, which manages the food requirements on Malhar and Malhar pre-events. Cardalix, which manages and handles the cardalic distribution between the workforce, and sponsorship, which brings uh, sponsors required for the judges' food and cardalix. Super important. So as you can see, this department has a place for everyone. When we think of hospitality, it resonates for me with warmth, entertainment and goodwill. And it will be my biggest effort as Malhar OC Hospitality to ensure that we create those uh, environment in our department itself so that we can ultimately provide hospitality to our guests. So I really look forward to seeing your applications for hospitality department. Thank you. And next up, we, I would like to call our logic, logistics OC Mark. Hey everyone, I am Mark, your law associate for Manhar 22. The Department of Logistics focuses on the setups of all events and fulfills the needs of every logistical requirement, right from chairs and tables to the stalls and the stage in the first quad. We have multiple sub-departments that cater to these needs, all requiring unique skill sets ranging from precise measurements, efficient teamwork, and lifting the heavy things in college. Well, you don't need to be the strongest in your class to be a LOGS volunteer, as LOGS has a foundation of teamwork and trust. So if you're ready to do some vigorous work for Malhar, LOGS is the department for you. I hope that each one of you present here applies for LOGS. Well, for many of us, it's going to be our first and last Malhar. So to everyone present here, I wish you all best of luck. Let us all work together as one team, one army, one family, and have a successful Manhar. Thank you. Next up is Marketing News. Thank you. Thanks, Mark, for forgetting my name. Uh, are you good at going to your parents and asking for money, saying, Mama, Papa, if you buy me this, buy me this, this year, I will study very hard for my exams. Yes? Well, do I have the team for you? Everyone knows that the world runs on money. 
and well malha does too with the sheer volume of events that we have we need a lot of money right so the marketing team at malha handles all things related to the partners and associated with malha we are responsible for ensuring that we create enough opportunities for the festival through sponsorships ogs and volunteers are expected to be efficient very 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 persistent and almost pleading and begging the sponsors to come on board and be able to use their judgment for various factors while onboarding the sponsors being a part of the marketing team helps you improve your soft skills and helps inculcate in you the ideals of being relentless and methodical giving you the responsibility that can only be experienced at malhar i seem to have forgotten my own name my name is rishab chakraborty and i'm the oc of marketing and i'm excited to see your applications for this year at malhar 2022 Next up, we have Ishan Jairam, the OC of Security. First of all, what an amazing crowd! Please give yourself a huge round of applause for being such an enthusiastic audience. So do you know what is the similarity between the movie Night at the Museum and Malhar? It is not the fact that both are based in a place of great historic significance, but it is the fact that security has a truly magical experience in both these things. I am Ishan Jairam, OC Security. Security is an essential department and ensures that events of Malhar take place smoothly. The gates of departments of security conduct thorough checks. and ensure that no dangerous substances enter the college premises while the interiors of departments manage the crowd and maintain the decorum of the audience within the college from escorting famous guest celebrities that come to malhar to the iconic dhampa chant and the end of day evacuation drill malhar security believes in working hard and having as much fun recruiting a large number of volunteers you will have ample of opportunities to interact with people outside your classroom and stream which believe me is a truly magical experience in my opinion being a part of the security workforce is an important and unique part of the saint xavier's experience and i cannot wait to see your applications for malhar 2022 thank you i will next call upon your oc for text daniel good evening guys firstly wow We expected large numbers to come for orientation, but you all have really surprised us, and we're really open. Hey guys, I'm Daniel Bajaj, your OC technicians for Malhar 2022. Text as a department focuses on the various technical requirements uh, at Malhar. Uh, if you're a fast learner, a musician, or even somebody who thinks of themselves as tech savvy, then Malhar is the perfect department for you. Text enables you to upskill to upskill yourself and learn all about. Find the details in every major concert or event. All will allow you to enjoy Malhar 2022 in all of its glory. There are multiple sub departments within Tex itself, depending on where your task is. You could either be managing uh, the PA events or the performing arts events, or you could also be managing the walkie-talkies for the entire festival. All in all, Tex as a department uh, focuses on both the work and the play aspects of Malhar, and I hope to see tons of you applying for it. I now call upon Jay. Uh, I now call upon Shorya, uh, the VCP, and Sanjay, the OC of computers. Hi everyone. So basically, we are starting with the networking department right now. I'll introduce myself. I'm Sanjay, and I'm from TY BSC IT, and I'm the OC for the computers department for this year. This is my first time in the Malhar Hall. And let me just say, this is a great turnout that I see, and there's a lot of exciting faces that I'm able to see as well. Introducing my department, computers. The computers is the place to be, as we are responsible for upholding the official website of Malhar. The official website of Malhar will be the one place for all of you to visit and to gather all the knowledge and information regarding anything about the fest. 
Our department will require OGs and volunteers as well. The responsibilities of OGs and the department would be to build the website, to deploy the website and to make sure that the website is up and running. They have to maintain the website and have to make sure that no, no users is facing any problem in accessing it. The role of the OGs would be to share the workload with all of the department, to make sure that they are good at coding and to help with the development of the website. And the role of the volunteers will be to help the OGs in their workload and to assist them as well. The computers department is a fun department that I invite you all to be in. It's not a geek department as per se. The department would be very chill, we'll have a lot of fun together and we'll make sure that Malhar is still the OG fest in the town. Thank you all, hope to see your application soon. Hello everyone, I am Dev Dattarege, the organizer in charge for the department of Conclave and let me just say it feels so very good to be back to Malhar after a year. Now a little about my department. If you're interested in meeting famous people, my department is exactly where you should be. Conclave is a department which governs the first day of Malhar, which essentially is a conference where dignitaries and experts are invited to come participate in a series of keynote speeches, panel discussions, interactive sessions and performance sessions. The platform of Conclave has seen many big names come in over the years, some of them including Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Narayan Murthy, His Holiness Dalai Lama, Dr. Aguram Rajan, Shashi Tharoor, Nasiruddin Shah, Sir Mark Tully, Shabana Azmi and many, many more. The department curates and onboards a speaker lineup filled with speakers from the different fields of academics, social work, law, governance, art, media and culture. The aim of Conclave is to engage its audience in the niche that the department has managed to create over the years. And also, uh, the chant that Conclave always has is that we always look for personality and not just for famous names. The department looks forward to giving a holistic experience to not just its audiences, but also to its workforce. From contacting speakers, to curating questionnaires, to researching and ideating themes for panels, Conclave demands its members to be equipped with good knowledge of worldly affairs, along with an expertise in any field that they feel closest to. If speaker research, curation and management is your game, then Conclave is your department. And also, as I mentioned, if you're interested in meeting famous people, please do come to me. So, please do apply for Conclave and all the best for Malhar. Thank you very much. Hey guys, my name is Nikita Fernandez and I am OC Creatives. I'll start off with a brief introduction about the role of the Creatives Department as a whole within Malhar. It executes design work for other departments, for example, social media posts for PR, certificates for admin, magazine layout for LA, Cardulates for hospitality and t-shirt designs for the entire workforce. Rules and responsibilities. Organizers will need to identify the strengths of the volunteers, ensure that work is allocated as per capabilities and executed on time, as well as convey design requirements to volunteers and guide them in case of difficulties. Regardless of position, the entire creatives department will be involved in ideating and executing designs. There aren't any official sub-departments within the creatives department, however, OGs will be selected based on their skill level and such skills would broadly cover social media posts, illustrations and layout design. How does this department add value to you as a workforce? This department is small due to its skill-based workforce, so you'll build a great bond within the team itself, as well as have a high scope of interacting with other departments. The designs you make during this time can be added to your portfolio and you'll also understand the requirements of and how to work in a creative team. You will also experience the joy of seeing your work being displayed on a regular basis. Skills required? You should know how to use at least one, preferably two design softwares. For example, Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, Figma, Canva, etc. And have an eye for design. You will also need to have a laptop with the mentioned softwares installed that can be used to execute the work required. I do hope that you will apply for the Creatives Department. Oh, hi everyone, I am Anushka, OCDNM. <laughs> is basically exactly what the name suggests. The department is responsible for the beautification or decoration of the entire college as well as creating and selling very Gen Z centric pop culture themed merchandise and posters. 
So organizers of this department would be required to ideate for the various outputs that DNM comes up with, communicate the designs to the volunteers, and successfully execute them as per their vision. As a whole, the entire team would be uh, involved in producing a variety of art and craft based on their sub-department. Speaking of sub-departments, uh, as of now, DNM has five. So Backdrops is responsible for creating large-size uh, backdrop murals as a team. Lounge, which is responsible for creating the posters. Installations, responsible for creating uh, art or craft based installations for display around college. Merchandise, which creates a range of products from painted notebooks, diaries, bookmarks, etc. And finally, calligraphy, which is responsible for writing the winner and uh, workforce certificates. Now, DNM executes a huge range of outputs, so everyone will get a chance to explore a lot of different artistic fields within one department itself. This can either help better your skills in a field that you're already good at or allow you to explore something that you've never tried before but have always wanted to. Plus, our decorations are displayed all around college, which essentially makes the entire college your portfolio. Now, skills required regardless of the position and sub-department would uh, be a basic knowledge of an interest in painting or craft and an act to think outside the box. Overall, this department is a paradise for everyone and anyone with a love of art and the smell of fresh paint. So, please apply. I now call upon the OC for FMD Okay, wow. Big crowd, big crowd. Hey everyone, and especially. Hey everyone, and especially my future filmmakers. I'm Ramel, and I'm the organizer in charge for filming and document documentation for Malar 22. I'm really excited to see all of you here, and especially more excited to see some of you people who are going to be in my department. So, what does FND do? This. This is what FND does. And primarily, we have three things. First, the theme video which is the onset of Malhar. Second, the conclave lineup, which uh, introduces speakers for our flagship event. And third, the after movie. I'm not going to explain the after movie because if you have not seen it, go watch it, binge it, it's worth it. In addition, we have some other miscellaneous work which requires to, for, for us to collaborate with different departments. Now, this is what we do, how we do it. This year, we have four departments, videography, photography, editing, and direction and ideation. Videography will have uh, cinematographers and photographers who are skilled, semi-skilled with their own equipment, who can who have an eye for content and aesthetics. The editing team will have will need to have highly skilled editors uh, with their setup and knowledge in place. And sometimes they will because they need to salvage and continuously come up with new ideas to have our after movie theme video and they need to edit all the time. So that's our editing team and the direction and ideation team. Well, this is my favorite team and this is the sub-department that I came up with this year. So this will be the brain of this department. They will help me with script writing, ideation. They will be the bridge between me, the volunteers, the other departments. In essence, you are my AD and the AD to this film called Malhar. Uh, this will be a great opportunity for all my filmmakers and content creators out there because by the end of Malhar, every one of you will have a great understanding of how to work under pressure, how to work under a large organization and how to have fun while curating and documenting history for the future that is yet, that is yet to come. Thank you. Uh, now on to OCPR, all the rest. Please join FND. FND. Hi guys. Firstly, so sorry for spamming you with a gazillion of texts just so that we get this overwhelming response. Well, they say that they save the best for last. Hey everyone, I'm Swadha Mehta, the OC for PR. <laughs> Our work involves promoting the fest and building the hype through all mediums, offline activities, extensive use of social media, and leveraging the power of press. Coming to the sub-departments in PR, firstly we have internals in social media. This team would work to ideate and execute events within the college premises, to instill the ethos of Millar till the D-Day. Uh, over to social media, they would work on social media spaces to build on engagement with the audience. The second department which we have is externals. It would comprise of ideating, organizing, and executing events such as Millar by the Bay and Millar on Wheels to name a few. If you're ready to be on your toes, literally, this sub-department is for you. The third and fourth sub-department is Press English and Press uh, Regional respectively. 
Your work would involve calling journalists, acing your content writing skills, and looking for press releases. So coming to the fun part, what is in store for you? If you love talking, well, it's a perfect fit. You have a lot of journalists to cold call and give your best shot at press. For externals, you'll often find yourself hopping around the streets of Mumbai. What better than getting your bucket list of places fulfilled while working? If you want to be the vo voice of Malhar in Xavier's and beyond it, apply for PR. Thank you so much. Um, over to Karin. All right. Can everyone make some noise for all 20 years for Malhar 2022? Thank you guys so much. Um, okay, so that concludes our orientation. But before all of you leave, okay, guys, which is the best department? I can't do it. I can only have a FIT one of it is 20. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, so I'd like to conclude by saying that we are officially declaring the OG and volunteer applications open. And as you can see here, there's a QR code. So, uh, hopefully it should work if you guys scan it. But if not, We'll be sending a round of WhatsApp forwards to all of the classes. So you will have access to the link by today. And we'll also be putting it up on our social media, which you can also see on the screen. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, everywhere. And uh, in case you guys have any questions about the apps and the application process, please email us, DM us on any of these accounts. And we'll be happy to help you. So, yeah, apart from that, thank you guys for being here for the orientation. One round of applause for all of the core committee of Hala 2022. And we're looking forward to reading all of your apps and seeing you guys in the future.